Use this money play to go ahead and shred cover two. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that should give you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. Alright, so guys, this is going to be part two of a, of a potentially a three-part series uh, of uh, using one money play to go ahead and beat uh, beat cover three coverages. This is going to be the cover two coverage uh, beater, because they're the most popular coverages in the game. Uh, and then I'll probably be jumping into some more meta blitzes uh, and some pl uh, plays that are actually going to use a lot online. All right, so guys, we're going to be once again looking at the uh, post play, post, uh, in particular the Panthers post, uh, the Patriots post, the Cardinals post, and the uh, spread gun ace slot uh, offset post. So these are going to be the plays we're going to be looking at. Uh, what's cool about this particular play is that uh, it's it's just one of the best built plays in the game. It's got uh, basically rods that you cannot audible into, uh, and you can drive your opponent nuts this year to play. You could pretty much run it all game if you really wanted to. Now I'm running against random zone cover two, so I don't know if they're hard flats, soft flats, soft squats. Uh, so basically I have to make reads after the play snapped. Once again, um, the way we're going to read this play is we're going to read it. Uh, if we pl run the play stock, our reads are going to be the following. It's going to be Seals Jones and Kirk. They're going to be a first read. Uh, the pretty much can't get locked up by a cover two shell. Uh, either one of the two players are going to be open or are going to be open with against a cover two shell. The next read would be uh, Johnson over the uh, over the middle with the, with the angle route. In the back side, we got Fitzgerald on a deep post route that will get open eventually. Now, um, one of the things I've noticed is that if the tight end number one gets off the line slow for whatever particular reason, uh, one of the things I've noticed labbing the game is that the running back route will always have a clean and easy release. So if you, your first read is going to be this guy and if he bounces off the line he doesn't get off his get off his his, his um his route quickly, which is going to be your first area. If you wait for him to actually get separation, sometimes you can get yourself into trouble into a blitz. So we're going to look to the running back, and nine out of ten times, if the, if that guy actually gets doesn't come off the line correctly, this running back will be wide open for an easy ten-yard gainer. So we're going to run this again, stock, and the next area of the field we're going to look to is going to be that flat route. Now what's cool about this pretty good flat route is we can beat this flat route up uh, against your opponent if he's running a lot of cover two shells. Uh, but what's going to happen is that you're going to have an opportunity to hit your, your opponent in the corner against cover two too. So if the flat rock is a good release, we're just going to go and attack that, and you should get easy easy completions underneath uh, with an easy first uh, first down opportunity. So if, if the defender actually plays a flat, a lot of times this corner route will get wide open for an easy completion. Now another thing I actually have done um, to actually go in and open things up a little bit is I'll take this slot corner route, uh, Kirk, and actually put him on a streak. And what happens is now it actually it opens things up a little bit where that flat route will become a, a more consistently open just because that uh, one defender uh, playing over the middle, uh, if he's not blitzing, uh, is actually has is forced to go ahead and play the flat. So that's what makes things a little bit interesting. Now if the, if the outside corner is actually playing um, uh, a, a, flat on the inside, what's going to happen is this out this route right here she'll get wide open. So you can actually pick up some pretty easy yards with that. Now uh, another thing that I like to do too is I like to streak up my wide receiver or my tight end number two. And the reason why is that uh, what happens is he, I, I cover two shells, he actually has to be manually defended because the defender over the middle does not defend him. He always backs away, he doesn't go ahead and come down and play that guy, and you can pop your opponent with that too. So that's why you want to have a, a tight end number two that's very versatile um, in this particular gameplay because it allows you to go ahead and tack him right in the seam. So uh, once again, let's just go ahead and attack on the seam. I'm just popping him for some easy yards. So if you got if you got a guy that's playing a lot of cover two shells, you just you can go ahead and pop him right in the seam uh, and force him to go ahead and play that play, play that particular position. So it's going to be difficult for him to go ahead and defend um, either one of those type of routes. Now um, another thing that you could do too, uh, if you if your guy's giving you a lot of cover two uh, uh, cover two cover three shell two uh, looks uh, where basically he's doing cover, t uh, cover three but he's showing you two. Uh, you can use this particular rock combination on the back end side. Check it down uh, to the back end side and go ahead and force your opponent to defend that. So it's just another thing that you can do against your opponent. So we're just going to go ahead and streak up the, the running back. Now this is where things get really fun against cover two is that deep post is going to be wide open on the back end side. So, 
with the cover two shell, you know that deep post is going to get wide open uh, and you're going to be able to pick up a good 20 yards with that. So that's why you have to be cognitive of that particular route. So that's what I do like about this. You're going to play against uh, a cover two, cover three shells. Uh, you can you can attack your opponent on the flat. He's got to defend that. Um, you've also got uh, basically the uh, the other route. If you want to go, say for instance, with uh, the China or the the KC corner concept, you can do that. You got the streak you can attack him with, and now what's going to happen is now you've got the backside guy. So if he doesn't defend the streak, now you're going to be able to go ahead and attack him uh, with that with that route. So let's just go ahead and see if we do this one more time. We're going to block this guy. Streak is going to be wide open. Got the little crosser. And you can see right there, you got another opportunity to go and hit your opponent right over the middle. So uh, this is what I do like about this play. This play is very, very effective uh, against someone that likes to go ahead and run, uh, you know, run a, a shell, can consistently make adjustments out of. You've got uh, this backside running back that you can force an attack with the, to defend those flats. And you can keep running this play over and over again when he's running a cover two shell or cover three shell. And you're going to force him to go ahead and try to plug in holes and create holes on the other side. So once again, my subscriber size, guys, if you do like these type of tips, make sure you hit the like button. And uh, to my Patreon, thank you for your support, and until next time.